going on? You ever wonder how this happens? How you eat away like that on the diaphragm? I'm gonna educate you. Rob, so do you know why this happened? Yes, it's because uh, when you have your throat bearing and it's pushing all thing, you're overthrowing your foot. So when you're throwing your foot, you're pushing too much pressure on thing. So that so means... That means, a, so personally, when they over adjust it, what happens is now the bearing rests on top of yes. it. Yes. So while you're driving, it's spinning along with it. With this. Right. So, so that means they have to adjust the clutch pedal height. That's number one. Yes. And what's important? That stopper. Stopper. Let's, stopper. Let's show them the stopper. Let's show them the stopper. Rob, let's go show them exactly what we mean so they can better understand. So let's say you adjusted your clutch pedal, right? And from the very beginning, it's very tight. Not good. Why? It means it's already resting that on that. That means it's resting on that. that means you it's need to here. have a nice air gap right here, like a little plate. If you have a little plate, you know what that means? You're not you know, resting on top of the diaphragm. You're not here. You're not here yet. Now let's talk about the clutch pedal stopper. Let's say if you push down at that point there, if it's already disengaging and you're able to go into gear, why would you want to travel further down? You want to do is push down on your clutch, it's disengaging, adjust the stopper to hit the wall and now you're not over traveling the diaphragm mm, exactly. causing it to eat away so now you know put the stopper on make sure you have the air gap and you guys are good hey rob good question so yes. maybe we can explain on the straw bearing what do you mean by oh. that that'll be a better demonstration right there so so let's so say like, you're pushing down on the clutch this is in your training mm -hmm. you're like this here you are mr guy guy when you're doing this, you're doing This is you. Yep. Now, if you overthrowing it, what happens is this teeth back here. It's gonna snap. It's gonna break. And that's because of you overthrowing it. That's correct. That is not because now, of the manufacturer no, of the clutch. It no, so not, that goes for every clutch manufacturer. Every clutch Stop blaming them. No matter what brand it is, it could be the cheapy of the cheap. Fufumagoo.com, yep. Amazon.com. Amazon.com, uh -huh. <laughs> you, got, you got the eBay. whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter. Is. Yep. If this come down to you, yep. you are this. This is you. This is you in job. charge. You this, in charge this of this. This is you. You guys talking mm -hmm. shit? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are talking. So there you have it, guys. You already know. This is your problem. We'll, we'll cause this. This is this. Remember that, guys. Oh, that's a good demonstration right there. Right there. Leave so that right there. Say you're driving 3,000 miles already, and that's just resting on top of it like because this. you don't have it adjusted correctly. It's like and this. this is spinning. This is spinning. How much heat can that take? How much heat can this take? It's gonna eat away here. It's gonna ruin your throttle bearing. So there you have it, guys. Pay attention next time when you're adjusting your clutch pedal.